What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing how to make a coin spawner thing. Hope you enjoy and let's get started. So you want to start off by making a coin. I will leave a link to the description of the coin model and if you'd like it or you can make your own. If I seem a little annoyed, it's because I'm. this is the second time having to remake this. That's why I don't make a lot of scripting tutorial videos. Not because of the code not working, it's because I always get interrupted. And now I'm just a little annoyed. We're going to create this code. Script.parent.touch colon connect function p hit local PLR equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. Alright, now... I'm just going to create a variable called claimed, so that way they can't claim it multiple times. If claimed equals false and hit dot parent clone find first child humanoid, then player dot plr dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals one. Claimed equals true script dot parent colon destroy I don't even need the um the claimed variable but I'll still have it there now you're gonna insert a script into server script service this will be the leader stats thing I'm not going to make a data store because I already have a video on that local leader stats equals instance dot new folder Leader stats dot parent dot name equals oops dot name equals leader stats leader stats dot parent equals player local coins equals instance dot new <coughs> in value coins dot parent equals leader stats coins dot name equals coins coins dot value equals zero now we have our our leader stats adder so now we can make the coin spawners oh wait first I'm gonna put this coin in replicated storage in a folder called coins this is in case you have multiple coin items each giving a different leader stat or different value amount now I'm gonna parent this to the folder now we need to make our coin spawners. You can make them any way you'd like, but this is the way I'm going to make mine. So I'm not going to make a lot, but you can make as many as you want. These are all random spots that the coins can spawn in. Sorry about that background noise. Someone is doing something loud. I don't know if the microphone hears it. Alright, now I'm going to create a folder. Well... Maybe I'll make it just a little bigger. Alright, that kind of bugs me how it's not really a square. Mm. It's good enough. Alright, now I'm going to name... Alright, so now I'm going to insert a folder into workspace. You can call it whatever you want. For this, I'm going to call it coins. Zone 1 coins. This is in case you have multiple um, zones. Alright, now we're going to make it the coin spawners. Oh wait, I'm going to put coin spawns. And I'm going to parent these to there. And I'm going to name them all coin spawn. Alright, now we can create a folder inside of this folder, and we can call this folder coins. This will be the folder that the coins from here will be parented to. Now you want to insert a script into server script service. You can call the script whatever you'd like, but for this tutorial I will call it, I will call the script coin spawner. Now you want to insert a number value into it. Well, you don't really have to, but I'm not going to do it. Local max coins equals, we're going to put the max coins 
for this area 1 to 25. There will be no more crystals or coins than 25. Local current coins equals 0. Local coin equals script game dot replicated storage dot coins dot coin. Local coin spawns equals game dot work equals workspace dot coins dot coin spawns. Colon get children. All right. Local coins folder equals workspace dot zone dot coins. Sorry. Repeat, this will repeat it when a player is added or game server is started. For i, comma, v, no, 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 not yet. All right, coin, colon, clone, coin spawn, coin, oh wait, local coin clone equals coin, coin clone. Coin clone dot C frame equals equals coins spawns math dot random one hashtag coin spawns. Oh I did it wrong. Oh I did this wrong equals coin spawns math dot random one hashtag coin spawns dot c frame there we go just fixing that all right coin clone dot parent equals workspace dot coins dot coins current coins Plus one, wait zero point point two. Now it'll repeat constantly add coins until there's twenty five coins. When a player touches the coin, it will remove it, but keep adding. All right, now we're gonna make the coin spawns invisible. For i comma v in pair, pairs do. Oh, All right, now we're gonna create the function that'll spawn coins when a child is removed. All right, I'm just gonna copy this code from here to make it easier. Now, if you don't, for this tutorial, I don't want it to spawn instantly, so I'm gonna add a wait time, wait five. So after five seconds of an item being destroyed, it will respawn an item. All right. Coins folder dot child removed. All right, now we're gonna do spawn coin. Now the thing should be working. Let's go test it out. As you can see, the coins are now spawning. Since this is a very small area, some of the coins in my game, in this game right now, might be double spawn so there might be two two coins in the same area spot because there's not a lot of spots for it to be at all right now as you can see it'll start to add the coins back see it's adding the coins back as i keep removing them so basically logic technically speaking there's infinite coins here Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on so that way you don't miss out on a future upload. If it does not work for you, then I will leave a link to this version in the description where you can customize it. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.